Hello friends, and I'm wondering if you are struggling with this or noticing this. Every single time you say, I feel fat, or you can flip the penny and say, oh my gosh, I've got to have that, I've got to eat all the food. I'm wondering if you're noticing that that's a warning sign, that something is up that is feeling like too much in your life. This is Tracy Brown, your somatic dietitian and a tuning specialist. I hope you've enjoyed all of the videos and the prompts this week around working with body image and recognizing that comparison obviously is a thief of joy, but comparison with your old body or comparing yourself to, to others is just a signal that something inside of yourself is feeling overwhelming, like you don't have enough support or inner security or inner safety or maybe even outer safety to know how to navigate it without blaming the body. And that's not your fault. The culture has taught us that, that if any time you're uncomfortable, you're unhappy, internally or externally, that the answer is like, well, you know, at least on the outside, I can look like I have it together, therefore I must diet or restrict my food. And that's gonna scare you. That is gonna scare every little cell in your body and bring back all these old memories of feeling deprived and neglected, whether it's from childhood or from adulthood, either way. And so it's really, really important for you to recognize that when we're saying, I feel fat, it's always, it's always like the bat signal to say, I feel uncomfortable. And instead of blaming the body, it's like, what is going on that feels like too much or that I don't feel like I have enough support for? And so I want you to take all the information from this video and from the videos this week and start to just use body comparison and the internalized discomfort of when you say I feel fat instead of blaming the body and instead of doing the old projections of it must be something wrong with me because I don't look like that person or maybe I'm better and I'm safe for a second but I still got to watch it all of that language it's gonna keep you in this loop of if you're feeling this way you're gonna want to diet if you diet it's gonna want to trigger um, again feeling insecure unstable and of course make your food unstable as well so instead of reacting out of I feel fat use it as like a warning signal of I feel uncomfortable and start to get curious so thank you all so much for watching this body image series if you are just now hopping on thank you so much for coming live and if you have any questions please tag me below um, I will answer all your questions about this topic if you know someone who is just really struggling with body image please um, pass this along to them because we don't have to continue this looping of scaring your body because what we say to our bodies, our bodies are listening and not, nobody wants to feel like, not, not when I say nobody, no person and nobody wants to feel under threat. And when we get in threat, we're going to have these um, threat responses in our bodies, which again leads to more I feel fat because if we're feeling lots of internal sensations, it's really easy to transfer that onto our body size versus like, no, this is feeling like inside of me. This is not the size of me. So I hope that little nugget helps you as you continue to work on your body image journey. And there will be more series just like this around body image. But if this was really helpful to you, please let me know and we'll continue to go deeper on it. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.